Today, I am going to show you a wonderful animation technique called Object Along Path. It's a highly effective technique for animating an object along a path without changing the position of the object in After Effects. And the most important aspect is that it saves your time. Hello everyone, my name is Sohel and welcome to my Motion Graphics class. In this class, I will explain what is motion path animation, benefits of motion path, and how to use it in After Effects. Let's understand what motion path is. In Adobe After Effects, a long path or motion path animation generally refers to the technique of animating an object or a layer along a specified path. This can be useful for creating dynamic and visually interesting motion graphics. Now, let's quickly understand the benefits of motion path. Animating along a path allows for smooth and natural movement, especially when compared to linear animations. This can make your motion graphics more visually pleasing and realistic. Creative expression. A long path animation provides a creative way to express motion. You can create intricate and complex movements that might be challenging or time consuming with other animation techniques. Versatility. This technique is versatile and can be applied to various elements, including text, images, icons, or custom shapes. I hope you understood the motion path concept with these explanations. Now, it's time to show you how to animate an object along a path. All right, so we are in After Effects, and these are our objects. I imported an image and a vector file to animate along the path. But first, let's create a composition. You can see the composition settings on the screen. To animate an object along a path, first, I need to create a path. So, I select the pen tool and create a random path in the composition. Nice, let's change the name of the layer as well. Now, I open the drop down menu of this layer and under the shape, you'll see the path option. Simply click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe in the timeline. After that, add an object file that you want to animate. In my case, I added a vector file of a rocket. Before going further, let me change the color of this object so you can see it better. Then, select the object and place it at the starting point. Simply copy the path keyframe of the line layer and open the position properties of the object layer. Select the position properties and paste the path keyframe here. Make sure your time indicator should be at the first frame. After pasting the keyframe, you will notice a path is generated in the object layer, and that is a motion path. If I play the video, you can see the object is moving along the path, but the direction of the object is not correct. To fix this problem, simply select the object layer, then right click. Under the transform, you will find the auto-oriented option. Simply click on it. A pop-up box will open. You should simply select an oriented along path option and click OK. Now, one last thing you have to do is correct the rotation of the object. Simply open the rotation properties and change the rotation manually like this. Now, you can see the object is perfectly going along the path smoothly. One important point is you can control the speed of this object by these keyframes. You can increase or decrease the speed of an object by dragging this keyframes like this. At this point, I would like to tell you a bonus tip. If you want to replace the object with another image, all you need to do is select the file you want to add, hold Alt on the keyboard, and drag it onto the layer you want to replace. You can see the plus icon with the cursor, then simply drop the file on this layer, and the object is changed. Let me turn off the fill effects quickly. All right, so here is a different object on the same path. The object along path technique is not just for animating a car or any icon. It's a very common and handy technique that you can use in different places, like I did in my logo animations. So next time you animate an object, don't forget to use this technique. That's it for now, see you in the next class.